So I just gave this a quick little spray right here, which means now that's all set for some of our snow and little additional type things. We'll set him off to the side. We've got to clean up our area because, well, we got too many Russians sitting around. Although this is interesting to see. Again, look at that. Uh, that kind of pleases me <clears throat> that that does actually work with the uh, Valhalla and Blizzard there. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to make... Oh, and Zambies, how are you doing, uh, folks? I'm sure all of you are following Zambies, but if you're not, you should do that because you're going to have lots of fun. So look at that. That's pretty similar. So this is the crushed glass over here. I think we've been able to pretty successfully mimic that effect. Now this is more crystalline. I gotta say, this is definitely more crystalline than what the Valhalla and Blizzard's gonna do. But it's it's better than better than nothing, and it is well. You can just probably get this at your local game store. That's kind of the advantage here, too. Oh, thanks, Landrast and Mel. Oh, Landrast was trolling so hard. I think uh, I think we're all caught up on the, the rest of the chat there. So let's uh, let's start putting some of these guys off to the side. I'm just I'm curious to see how some of them look, though. So just don't mind me if I kind of. Uh, <laughs> Check these out a little bit and see. So this is a this is your crushed glass combo, right here. That's our combo guy. This was the. Now you can really see the difference in the crushed glass. See how that's kind of that that transparent stuff. What was the other one? Was it her? Ah, okay. Let's look at these two. So I'm seeing here there is a little bit of shininess, just like there is over here. It, it's, I mean, it's close enough. You can see that one is brighter than the other. Uh, yeah, that well, there's none of them around us either. That's the other reason why, well, we don't really use GW stuff or Vallejo or any of that. That's why I just kind of get what I can get on Amazon. Amazon is our new game store. <laughs> How does that sound? So I'm just put some of these guys off to the side. This is another... Uh, was this, no, this was the uh, Vallejo. Speaking of Vallejo, this was the Vallejo stuff, I believe, that we used. Uh, let me see. So I'll put these guys off to the side here. Which one was this one? Ah, this was another one with the uh, Vallejo stuff here. I think the majority of these were actually Vallejo. So... Oh, look at that. So that was where we mixed the the water effects with the Valhalla and Blitz. That seemed to work pretty well. Yeah, so that that's definitely something that can work. All right, glad to see that. I'm uh, just going to get, again, some of these guys out of the way. And, uh, yeah, so it worked. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy just to see. Actually, I'm just happy to see these guys with some snow on them. I have waited quite a while. Here's another one of our melty guys here. There's some of our melted snow. That worked out pretty well, I think. Uh, again, just going to get these guys out of the way because we need some space here. Uh, here's our guy with his vodka bottle. Yeah, that, was, that worked out pretty well too, I think. Almost done here. Just a couple more guys to grab. And that, this was our very first one. This is with the crushed glass. I gotta say it is kind of my favorite, though. But when you don't have something or whatever, availability is the best ability, as always. So here we go. Now you can see when I sprayed it, we did a little bit of the additional powder. Kind of got absorbed, blown away. That's because it's a powder. Now you can see a lot of this stuck here because of the pigment fixer. Right, that we mixed in there, but we've got it nice and wiped away. But enough of it has stayed behind that we'll be able to do what we did here. Now we're going to zoom out here a bit. At least that much. I still think it's hilarious doing this. I, just, I absolutely love the black and white. That is just so funny. 
Okay, we got this. Ooh, we're going to need our pigment now. <clears throat> Maybe we'll try a few of these. Actually, what the heck? We'll try a couple of different things. We'll try this, and we'll try the uh, we'll try the crushed glass. We'll try those two things. Maybe we'll do them on both halves. So we'll go halvesies here. Maybe this half will be crushed glass. This half, the Valhalla and Blizzard, maybe, maybe. And uh, oh, that's our T28 here. We'll leave that off to the side. So we'll keep our our crushed glass palette handy. Now we <coughs> we also do have our. I want to bring this back out. If we're gonna do the Valhalla and Blizzard stuff, let's do the Valhalla and Blizzard then. But we also wanna we wanna do some of the melted stuff, right? Because we wanna melt some of that stuff here. I mean, think of your vehicle, your your own car. How many times you come out there, and anything near that tailpipe, that snow is gonna be melted away. I don't care how cold it is. That will be melted away. So we'll just we'll do some melty things. Obviously, here we're gonna have some melty things. And then of course we're gonna want to have icicles. Look at those. Definitely gonna want to have some icicles. And we'll probably do some more of our I don't know about that dark yellow. Ah, oh, what the heck? We'll throw a touch of that out here. Let's have a little more depth to our color and some of this ancient earth too so I have a couple more colors to choose from here as far as our weathering powder goes we're gonna you know what what's it oh that was rubbing alcohol in there now it's gonna be realistic water that's one of our little water color cups there. That's rubbing alcohol up there, in case people are wondering. What do we want to do first? Do we want to do the treads first? Let's let's mess with our treads first here. So look at all that nifty grass that got stuck in there. So say we all. So say we all. Oh, thank you, Spectrum. Thank you for the. Oh, let's uh. Let's have what Peleus do his little happy dance here. He's like, yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's like, niet. It's like, man. Uh, he's, he just never gets to hang around for any of the good bits or anything like that. He's always getting chased away. And, of course, we still have our Luke's APS little powdery stuff right here. Let's get a, a batch of it. Boy, we're going to end up using this whole freaking container here. So that is the one thing I'll have to say about this. As far as efficiency of materials goes, you're going to run through this stuff way faster. Heck, I might, I might only be able to do the T28 and this vehicle with what's left here. I don't know how much this stuff costs. I'm assuming it's probably 8 or 10 bucks a container. It's the same size as the, what are those, uh, the contrast paint stuff. So I'm just going to assume... And even though I know what the first three letters in assume are, I'm just going to assume anyway. Our, our, our luscious green right here with our winter whitewash. Let's start to pile up some mud and some snow in our treads. Just like we did before, we're going to get some of our... There's a realistic water. We're going to mix a couple of different pigments together here. Remember, when they're darker, that means they're wet. When they dry, they will be significantly lighter. Okay, we're making ourselves a nice... Oh, look at that. Nice muddy color. Let's get a little bit of our snow mixed in with that. Give it some body here. Okay, now we've got muddy snow. We've got our SU-85. And let's just start to deposit some of our mud here. See, that's going to give us a little bit of a lighter mud. And again, the lighter mud essentially mud that has dried a bit. 
get some of the, oh, look at look at all that it's the, nice and set up here on the bottom of the vehicle so again we got some dried mud now well dried muddy snow anyways oh wait wait <laughs> one side is crushed glass the other side is this material i almost see i forgot already i already forgot we are going to thin this down now because i want some of that going into the Tires here. Get some of that up front here too. Okay. Get that nice and piled up. Uh, let me see. <laughs> so one million dollars. Uh, let's see, nine bucks for twenty-four million uh, milliliter Vallejo. Makes sense. Eighteen bucks for two hundred milliliters. Yeah, a wee bit of a difference. So, yeah, this I think, price-wise, this is going to be a way, a way better bet than than this. This also does come in smaller containers. Uh, it comes in a container more like this size right here. So you can also get it in smaller containers too. Now, time for some snow, and this will be kind of muddy here, or it's we've wetted it down, and now we'll oh look at that, look at how that just mixed together right there. So it can be done. You you have to manipulate it a little bit, but it can be done. So this is our our Val Helen Blizzard here into our muddy snow mix. It, it's got an assist though, I have to say, that the realistic water is is giving this a little bit of an assist. Now let's get uh, a touch more of this up here. Okay, I'm gonna mix it a little bit more with our mud here. That's some that's some dirty snow right there. Don't eat the yellow snow. Otherwise it's called a lemon chill. Ah, that 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 works okay. I think that's getting the point across. And we're getting ourselves some uh Nice muddy snow piled up in here. Yet it helps having all of those other textures underneath. Remember, what did we say? It's like a chess match. You got to plan out in advance. I think we'll get this tuck some snow down in there too. Ah, I got to. I, I know I've said this a bazillion times. You have no idea how how long I want to just get back into the historicals. Wow, I have missed this way too much. Let's get some of that stuck down into that tread. I mean, of course, you can't possibly tell by me saying that about every thirteen seconds. And of course we're we've got a winter themed table that we were well we were constructing for our winter war, which was then going to also serve as the Kessel, and I'm not quite sure how familiar are people with the Siege of Stalingrad. But the the Kessel was basically that was the two prongs of the Soviet offensive. And they believe that was January ish or so that was launched and that basically was launched against I think the Italians in the north and the Romanians in the south who were guarding the flanks of the German sixth army and that didn't go so well and Paulus was encircled and they thought they could resupply them by air which didn't work terribly well especially when a bunch of T-34 showed up at the end of the runway Okay, oh, yeah. this is a little bit more of our muddy snow over here. 
This is the thing I wasn't sure if you could do with that fail handling blade, but looks like you can. Now, we haven't forgot this stuff either. We haven't forgotten it. We will, in a few select areas here, mix that in. And this is this is just our treads here, baby. We got we got all of the fun stuff going on up here too. Uh, let me see. Don't or eat the yellow snow. It might be beer. Well, it was beer at one time, that's for sure. Because what's that? You can't buy beer. You can only rent it. Ah, oh, Lady B is back. And I say glad I could poke you to do Historicon, even if it didn't happen. Well, I mean, this is otherwise I wouldn't really, I wouldn't be doing historicals right now so it is much appreciated wicked elf so again we'll we'll see what this looks like on the other side with the crushed glass but let's continue here what we'll, we'll build up this way uh pigment fixer we don't need that i don't think we yeah, we just put this uh, somewhere else out of the way we don't need that what i do need is to move this water so i can get to this I do, ooh, that's the thing I forgot to grab with some clean paper towels. We'll just have to make do with what we got. Oh, my realistic water. Again, I might actually have to put some more of that out here. But we'll mix that with our Valhallen Blizzard here. Let's start to get some snow. Over here, let's see, supposedly the Wilder Acrylic products, Aqualand, are pretty cool. They are reactivatable. Ah, Kathy finally got the, oh, and the, the pancakes were fantastic, folks. So everyone say thanks to Kathy for making me the pancakes so that I didn't starve to death. It is, that was, that was fabulous. I'm not going to put as much of it here because, well, we got stuff in the way. But however, I am going to pile it up over here. And I'm going to, ooh, maybe not quite so much. I'm going to get some over here, too. So everyone say, thank you, Kathy. And let's uh, toss a little bit of that here. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm enjoying the heck out of this. And there's no turret. That, that's that's sometimes the fun things you see them. They're building up their snow and everything, on, and then all of a sudden the turret can't rotate anymore. Oops, minor details. Minor details. And before we let that have a chance to dry too much, we're gonna just chuck a little bit again. That's the Luke's APS. Like so. Gives that now a little bit of fuzziness there. So now we've got our snow. We've got our snow whitewash. So that's got a little bit of yellowness to it. That's what we were hoping. And now our snow, two different kinds of snow. We've got muddy snow down here being ground up in our tracks. Now we've got a little bit cleaner snow that is falling on top of our vehicle here. I think we can afford to get some more of our Valhallen Blizzard back here. Maybe have it uh, kind of going up against the Citadel there. Maybe we'll get a little bit more down here too. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to just get some water mixed into that. I think we're not going to necessarily do too much melty stuff, at least in this part. We have Noland entering our wintry domain. Yes, it's Christmas in July. Let's welcome them all, all, them all in. And folks, uh, be sure to give Noland a follow. If you're not already doing that, I'm sure the vast majority of you already are, if not pretty much all of you. But just be sure and be nice. Give her a follow. Uh, welcome, right? Let's see. The, the Luke's Ape, this is just a... Uh, it, it's basically static grass. It's like super, super fine static grass. And as you can see, we're just going to dust that over the top here. Welcome in, Raiders. Ah, 
Hello, Lulatia, and Love Minis. Oh, thank you, thank you again for the raid, Nalin. Hopefully that your stream went really good, and hopefully um, you were very productive with it, even if you had lots and lots of people keeping you company, because sometimes lots of people keeping you company means you maybe get a little bit less done. And if you wanna, if you wanna shout out yourself, you can do self shout outs as well. <laughs> it's all good. We have been trying many different weathering products here. Uh, so you found a local supplier for Bolden or Golden. I just bought snow powder before when it arrived. It turned out to be two millimeter white stain. Yeah, it's uh, this definitely has a little bit of a static grassy look to it, but I, I think it's like one millimeter. So we were using actually some of the Green Stuff World liquid pigments to do some weathering on a T28. Then we were doing some winter whitewash on an SU85, and now we're adding our snow and our icicles. We've been testing out a whole bunch of different products here. So we've been seeing what we can do with stuff like Valhalla and Blizzard and some other snow products like the crushed glass. You can see our sparkly crushed glass, and that's it. That's what this is going to be right here. We're going to be doing uh, GW Valhalla and Blizzard on this side, and we're going to do crushed glass over on this side. So for folks that are new, I will show you some of the other past things that we've done. Oh, Zen for One in the house. Uh, and Nalin did an unboxing stream for all the Indomitus goodies. Well, hopefully there's lots of fun Necron stuff in there because that is, uh, I'm really looking forward to some Necron goodies. Hopefully they uh, they all look good. And I'm not sure which you are going to tackle first. Are you going to tackle the, the boring old Primaris first or the fun new Necrons first? That doesn't, that can't possibly give you an indication of what I'd like to do first. So we're going to take some of that. Again, that's the fluffy, powdery stuff here. That's going to go on top of our Valhalla and Blizzard there to give it just a bit of fluffiness. So look, we're getting some color difference, some texture difference, right? Oh, Lord Dave is back in the house uh, going for the Necrons. They haven't done any before. So when those do arrive, I am hoping to do some actually TMM in oils. So this is actually one of my Patreon series right here. So that is not metallic paints. That's actually metal medium. And I'll show you that because I've got sitting right over here mixed with regular acrylic paint. So I'm looking forward to doing this because yeah, object source lighting and metallics. Uh, that's this right here. Oh, and Beat is uh, Beat Hepro is uh, building his Necrons as he watches. So for the new folks that are in here, this was the very first army that I painted entirely in oils. So that was my Winter Russians, and you can see we've been adding on to them a little bit. This is the first time I ever used oils, period, on a miniature. This is almost four years ago. This is basically three years and ten months ago. I was working on these Winter Americans, and that was like all eyes were revealed. This is actually my most recent bolt-action army here. These are my Fulsham Jaegers. We've got some early war vehicles painted in one in weathering powders, one in oils. This was in oils here, uh, the Crusader on the left, the Panzer, uh, the Yag Yag Panzer Jager on the right. That was done in weathering powders. Some acrylics here. And for folks that like bolt action battle reports, I've got four of them on the YouTube channel. So this is Blood at Arras. And yes, you can actually watch that Matilda tank shock somebody. And this was the, the latest one that I filmed, the Bridge to Nuvion. Yeah. And there's my early war French. And once again, there's my Monte Casino Fulsham Jaegers. And, oh, and this video just went up. So this is some 2D art, folks. This is just on the YouTube channel right now. Just look up James Wample YouTube. This is the most recent video. I posted it about five minutes before I went live. And I'll show you some other not bolt action stuff. But right now, this is part of the virtual Historicon. And actually, if Wicked Elf is still in the house here, he can put a link to the virtual convention, which is going on right now. 
it's going on right now. We're just going to, I think, do I have enough of this left? I do. So what we've been trying to do is actually make basically a, can we make a melted snow version of Valhalla and Blizzard? And we found out, yes, we can. It takes adding some water effects to it, but we can melt it. So that is very important here. There's a lot of heat back here. Now, this is easy to do with the crushed glass snow, which you'll see later. With this snow, uh, not so easy. So what are we going to do? Look at this. We're going to take this and see how that's uh, giving us some nice wet effects here. What do we want to do? We're basically setting up. Now, see those icicles there? Off the back, that's what we're setting up. Oh, thanks, Wicked Elf. Yeah, Cyber Wars. Uh, from there, the events section will take you to all the different sections. All right, we're going to just put a little bit of fluffy snow there. Tiniest bit. But this is important. This is important. We want that melted. Uh, here we go. Here's another example again. We've got these heat vents over here. Why would there be snow sitting on top of those heat vents? We melt the snow. It comes down there. Again, we got more icicles back there. Uh, we'll show you how those icicles happen in a bit. But first, we need to have our different textures. It's all about the textures. Hashtag never enough textures. So I can even put... Ah, so this is oh, this is how I can actually get a little bit of a crystalline effect without crystals. Ah, look at that. So what we'll be doing on the other side here, wherever my crushed glass stuff went, I'm not sure what the heck happened to that, but we will be using that on the other side if I can actually find it. Where did you go? Okay. But I'm liking this. I'm liking this, and actually this, again, this little fluffy stuff here from Luke's APS, it kind of almost gives you the sense that that is semi-liquid. All right, let's do this on the fuel tanks, too. Just a bit of condensation on those. I'm going to stage some of that Valhalla Blizzard over here. Now you do, like I said, you got to manipulate this a touch here. Ah, snow, it's uh, sending me back to my childhood. Looks properly freezing. Thank you so much. Well, we're, I just realized we're doing kind of a Christmas in July. It is still July, right? Well, it is for a week or so. So consider it Christmas in July. Except instead of getting toys and presents, you get high explosive rounds. It's kind of like Christmas. It's a, it's a toy. Uh, look at this. Oh, yeah, we can. This is actually the most pleasing thing to me of this whole experiment here is that I have been able to really test the possibility of making melted snow with something other than just the crushed glass. That is probably the neatest thing. So we're going to take some of our fluffy stuff here. we got to be really careful with this because we want to wipe out our melted texture ever so slight just pile up there on top of our external fuel tanks and who knows maybe I'll check a little bit more here as that dries okay so we'll, we'll see again what the crushed glass looks like next to that a little bit more of our again Valhalla and Blizzard GW here Pile it up here on our on the mantlet, and that crazy gun. So all of the SUs had this. I mean, the SU-155 is insane. <laughs> I mean, like insane. Okay, let's just pile up a little bit of this. Now I have to. I have to remember. I gotta have this looking melted. If there's gonna be icicles hanging off this barrel, there's gotta be a reason for it. Can't have fresh fallen snow and then icicles. Makes no sense. We also have to get some of that wet snow. If we're going to have melted snow. You know what? Let's uh, 
let's have some fun. Let's pile up a little more snow over here. And uh, just just for the heck of it. Just pile a little bit more snow there. Should it necessarily be that much snow? I don't know. But it feels like it should be there. I'll make sure we check. Uh, if it's Christmas in July, then where is Santa? Oh, okay. Where is Santa? <laughs> oh, where is Santa? Where did he go? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, there's Santa, an NKVD officer. <laughs> or shall we say, the political officer. That's Santa, and he's, uh... He's about to put some coal in your stocking. Unless you head towards where the Germans are. That's a nice little pile of snow there. It's looking quite wintry. So here's the difference with our treads. With no muddy snow. And here we got muddy snow right there. Uh, let me see. Uh, angry <laughs> Santa is social distancing. Uh, let me see one kind. I know how home is. The heart getting minis painted. Oh, Paul John's life. How are you doing? It sounded like the start of a new verse. Are, if there are icicles somewhere, oh, there must be melted snow. If there are icicles somewhere. There must be melted snow everywhere. <laughs> oh, there actually are, folks. There, there were some new Book of Wapple chapters added. So if people got chat points to redeem. There are new chapters in the Book of Wapple added from yesterday. Yes, indeed. Now, this is just watered down here. It's just a little bit watered down. Now, Lord Dave, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so much. Here, let's get to... We'll probably going to grab some of these. Look at that. Look at all them bits. Look at all those bits. He's going to grab them all. Until all of a sudden the Russians say, Nyat! It's like, man, all right. And he exits stage left. It seems to happen all the time. Uh, that seemed to be more of a Krampus than a Santa. Yeah, well, actually, here, let's, uh, since we just had a cheer, we'll, we'll do a little bonus reading in just a second. I'm just going to, I want to get some snow piled up here before this all dries on me. So we're just getting some snow piled up onto that. Little bit of our fluffy stuff here. As you do. So here is, this is, I believe, chapter 24 in the Book of Wapple here. Ah, there are no mistakes in oils, only makeup sponges. And here's another one of our new chapters. Oh, and blessed be the oil painters, for they shall inherit all the wet blending. Yeah. Yes, and, and what we talk about oil painting, so for the folks that are new, that aren't really familiar, here's some of the things that we have painted in oils, like, oh, this one half size human head bust right here. That's from Blackheart Models. And let's see, where's some of our other <clears throat> other stuff that we painted in oils? Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. That's That was uh, one of the latest Dark Sword tutorials. That one also painted in oils. Ice Elemental painted in oils. More oils. More oils. More oils, more better. And it's just, it's kind of funny. I just did this one. This was a tutorial I did for the Patreon page a couple of weeks ago. It is pretty hilarious now to be doing uh, this <laughs> with this kind of weathering. Oh, my gosh. All right, I'm going to get a little more fluffy up here. Eh, what the heck? It's a little fluffy there. So I think we've got this piled up pretty well here. We've got our muddy snow over here. All right. So let me see if somehow I can locate wherever the my crushed glass went ah there you go crushed glass realistic water so we're going to review these again so realistic water this is one of the two parts when it says do not shake i suggest you do what kathy did and write in a big marker do not shake it's the first thing we do when we pick up a jar we shake it 
And this is supposed to be stirred, not shaken. We'll look at the other half. This is where the magic happens there. And yes, that is actual crushed glass, just like the warning says. It contains crushed glass. That is why we have a little... This is just a, a lid from a butter container. It actually has a nice little convenient trough here, maybe for some water. Which I'm actually going to add in there, just uh, just cause. So here, I'm just going to pour a wee bit of water into that. Just to have it. Oops, that goes over here. You can see we got crushed glass up here and our realistic water. That's going to go down here. So realistic water, they are separated at the start. And you shall see why in just a second. Put out a little instead of a lot. Because this only has so much of a working time and hardened crushed glass on your palette here is less productive than hardened crushed glass on your miniature. I'm just saying. Now we will we'll just take this over by the camera here so you can see this now. Look what happens when we have a little bit of crushed glass. See how that's nice and melty? It's that melted snow. Look what happens the more of the crushed glass that we add. Look what starts to happen. Is that Does that not get looking like uh, your fluffy snow? That looks mighty fluffy to me. Remember, you can you can make any proportion that you want. Okay, I'm going to set this down here. I'm going to grab a little bit of this. And let's find a spot to put it, like, oh, right here. This is a good spot. This is a good spot. Now, you will have to manipulate it. It's just like the Valhalla Blizzard stuff. You're going to have to manipulate and push that into place. But you can see once we push that into place, it kind of stays there. And the question was asked a little bit ago. I think it was either before the break or, yeah, it was before my break. We, the question was asked, so does this fall off at any point? And we basically took the back of a brush and hammered away at it, at some stuff that was dry, and it didn't come off. So that answered that question quite efficiently. Now, if we want to make the two things match, maybe we'll just take a little bit of this static grassy type stuff and throw it on top there. Let's get a little bit more of this, and let's just uh, get some nice little snow piles working. Again, the the nice thing about this is that it is translucent. Uh, it looks like the wet, heavy snow that I dread shoveling. Uh, let's see, I'm sure you know this is more than... Oh, yeah, Kathy does the More Than Dice podcast. That's going to be tomorrow night, guys. Uh, that series, that's what they call the fluffy stuff in Alaska. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Pile that up real nice right there, up on those treads, those spare tracks. Get that pushed down. Get some more of it up here. Let's give me a place to set this down. So I'm actually going to get rid of some of that water. We didn't need quite so much, but I am going to get some of my realistic water back out here onto the pallet, like so. And we're going to mix up uh, what's left of this here. Okay, we got a nice fluffy mix, which should go very nicely right there on a couple of our track links. Get some of that up here, too. Again, we're trying two different snow materials. Will they match exactly? Probably not. But if we're trying to experiment here, and that's what this is all about, it's about showing you guys stuff, it's about experimenting. In a battle report, no one's ever going to see the difference. Heck, I'm pretty sure 99% of the people that walk up to this 
wouldn't be able to tell that there was two completely different types of snow used. Especially since we're a little, little bit of our fuzzy stuff to cover that. But look at, see how that looks like chunks of ice kind of built up there? Uh, let's see, Nurgle Entropy, uh, Nurgle Pustules, Plague. That must be Kathy talking. If it's Pustules and Plagues, it's got to be Kathy. That's a thing. Okay, now, since we got lots of Melty Snuff here, Melty Snuff, so that worked pretty well. I'm going to say that was effective. Let's see how much easier it is, though, with the crushed glass. It's uh, It's a lot easier. It is definitely easier to do that same effect, and I am going to get a more crystalline look around the outside of it. So, a more icy look, basically. Uh, the, the other, it's closer than I thought it could ever be before, but I'm really enjoying this semi-melted look here. I'm almost ready to blue tack that palette down. Now what we did here to kind of simulate the, we dropped some of this into the wet water foot, and that kind of gave us a little bit of a melted crystals. But nothing like this to represent that melted snow. Let me just uh, see if I can't scoop up a little bit more. I will just drop a little bit of this in here. Again, we've got to match our other side somewhat. Get nice and melted here around it. And then we're going to have our icicles that will hang off of the back. Now we're going to get some more of our crushed glass out here. Like so, because we've got a We've got our treads to do. We also have our external fuel tanks to do. So let's take our more melted version here first. Put this out there. It will be a little bit of a learning process to get to figure out how to manipulate this. Actually, it's even easier to manipulate when you have a clean brush, too. Makes it just a little bit easier. And you can also, here, we got a, a ton of that built into the herb. Look at how much of that's sitting in that brush. Look at that nice big old stack that's just been sitting on that brush, waiting to be applied patiently. So like I say, if you've got a clean brush here, you can go in here and then really manipulate that nice and easy. So we're just pressing that down. Pressing that down nice and easy. Now I don't have a whole bunch of time here again before that cures, but let's show you some fantasy figures. It's not just for Si or for a uh, bolt action, that's the same crushed glass. You got the same icicles, right? Uh, I've got tons and tons of tutorials showing how to use the crushed glass. Uh, now we've got, uh, now we're going to have some on the Valhau and Blizzard, which is really cool because I didn't have those before. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go with some melty snow on the treads real quick here. Actually, this will work for up here too. One second. While I got it, that will work for right there. Okay. Good enough. And let's just throw some of it right here too. Just getting to get some of my snow, just like we did over here. Since this is so translucent, I'm not necessarily worried about getting some mud into that. Okay, now, where's my little sheet that had some of the mud in it? There's my other palette from my muddy snow. 
So we're going to take some of this and we're going to mix that into our weathering powder here. And now we've got muddy snow. Don't eat the muddy snow. It's just like what we got over here. Now I don't want to wipe out all of that really fun texture with the grass and everything else just for the sake of getting some muddy snow in here. And remember that the rocks, the, the Luke's APS texture that we added that was so fun. Here, let's get some of that muddy snow back into our treads over here. Let's get some of that pushed back. Okay, we don't need muddy snow up there. Now we are going to get that oh, another little brush here, something that's uh, not quite so infected with our muddy stuff. Here, there's some cleaner snow, but still not the fluffy stuff, a little less. Because you can see there's some whiter snow in there. And now there's going to be some whiter snow here, too. Look at that. See how that kind of brings out that wheel, that darker texture? Look at that. It's a fun little... It's like a tiny vignette inside this whole big old tank thing. Let's get some more of our icy snow. Again, this is the crushed glass from Secret Weapon here. I haven't tried a winter whitewash yet. Not super that in my chipping skill. Well, it's uh, I don't know. Oh, you didn't get to see that maybe earlier, Sebastia. It's a, it was not a complicated process. And like I said, this will be, it'll be posted to the YouTube channel. It's gonna be a few separate videos. But yeah, the the winter wash, it was it was pretty simple. It was rubbing alcohol and it was weathering powders. I mean, it was it was quite simple. There was not a lot of different aspects to it. The timing, maybe. But yeah, all that was just the uh, the winter whitewash. Now I'm going to get me some more of my crushed glass. And again, this thing, you just let it all harden, and then you just chuck it in the garbage. It, it would just, you can't recycle it, but you just, that's kind of your way of disposing of it, is just put it in the garbage when it's all hardened. You obviously, you know, maybe you wear, well, everybody's wearing masks nowadays, so everybody's got masks, so no problem there if you, if you feel that worried about it. Um, you really shouldn't be blowing on this stuff anyways, so I'm not thinking that's going to be a problem for you, but we do. We want to pile up some snow here up against the Citadel. Yeah, let's get our armored Citadel fighting compartment. It's referred to different things. But now that uh, there, that's uh, lined up across the and touching now our Valhalla and Blizzard snow effect. Uh, it's about a bit more over here. And just for good measure, maybe drop a little bit of this especially where one is meeting the other. All right, so I think we are pretty good here. We've got our, look at how crystalline. See, that's the one thing you just don't get, although it, it's sort of somewhat close, but you just see that little sparkly stuff that you get with the crushed glass. It's just hard to beat that. Uh, let's see, are there any alternative to the secret weapon realistic water? You can use the, oh, like you are saying, the Vallejo still water. Oh, uh, what's the other stuff? Woodland Scenics. Woodland Scenics has uh, water effects, too. A and, uh, yeah, you could use that. I know I used that. I think that was even before I found the Vallejo still water. So there, there's some other options. Just like, okay, what were we using? There's, there's Vallejo. We were using this on some of the other Winter Russian before. I just want to make sure I'm get the. What time is it to a waffle? Yeah, right now it is 7:51 p.m. All right, what are we gonna do now? What's it time for? 
It's time for icicles. Oh, actually, <laughs> that gets me thinking about ice cream. I would, ooh, ice cream. Ice cream. Let's move you over here. And Lady B has, uh, she's seen this before. Uh, this works for flames, icicles, water effects, you name it. I absolutely love this stuff. Uh, well, for me, well, unfortunately that's not in the house, but there's there will be, I think, eventually some uh, custom ice cream for me. Now, let's just uh, look at how much uh, body there is in that. Oh, wait a minute. I have those many. Let me show you uh, water effects, too. It's gonna, uh, I don't need that much. What am I doing? I'm thinking water effects for some reason. All right. That is more than enough for some icicles. So put this away. Again, it is super heavy gloss gel. Where's my pirates? Where did my pirates go? You're around here somewhere. Pirates, pirates. So see those, uh, see the water effects right there? See that blue and the foamy stuff? That was actually some Valhalla and Blizzard that made the foamy stuff, but can you see that, that water splash? Right? Wait a minute, I think I can zoom in on this. It might be easier to see. There. See the water splashes on that? Let's grab another one here. You might be able to see it easier on this one. Ah, there you go. See that water splash right there? That's the same stuff. See those water splashes right there? Same stuff. And there's one more hiding back here. Come on. So that's actually the water effect that's mixed with some of the Valhalla blue. Look at that. See those water spots hanging off the outside there? Uh, let's see. Relatively quiet day for Paul. Now let's uh, get our pirates to a safe location here, somewhere else. Somewhere else. Now we're going to grab ourselves. Oh, another little smaller brush. Something like this. Start thinking about some icicles here. Now the icicles, unfortunately, are going to have to be one of like, the last things that you do because they're going to be kind of fragile. So look what we got here. That big old... Here, let's uh, get a little bit of that stuck to the back of our vehicle. Look at that. See how it extends out? There we go. And there's the start of some icicles. And... It's, it, it's nice to be, well, you want to be working kind of on multiple icicles at the same time. Now look what happens as we start to draw this down. Now remember, they will dry crystal clear. Now we've got our water over here, right? You see how that water affects that? Look at what is an icicle? It's just a whole bunch of water that keeps dripping down from the same place over and over again. It's building off of that same original. Look at that. And remember, all of this, that's going to dry crystal clear. It's not going to dry white like that. I'm going to find myself an even smaller... Brush. Looking for something smaller, maybe like this, and a bit on the softer side too. And the idea is, you just you put this here, and then you let one, you let them kind of just you have a chance to set. Let's just put another one right here. And look at how we can just pull that right down. Look at that. I mean, icicle. It's fun. It's very fun. We did want some 
some kind of icicle effect off of here. I think this is a good place. So we're just going to here, let's uh, get ourselves a nice little long tendril of this. Not on my finger, but on the brush itself. Okay. Then we'll have to manipulate this. Just we want to make sure that's actually grounded. And we can take some water here. And you see how we're basically kind of sculpting our icicle here. You can take some of it away. And the fortunate thing is that gravity is going to give us an assist. Gravity helps. I'm going to take a little bit of that away. A little more of that away. Try and get it more centered here too. Also doesn't have to be, you can even, look at this, you can take your finger and you can shape that a bit. And then once these have a chance to set up even for a little bit, then you can add to them. You take kind of your extra water. And see, look, we can make some smaller ones here. Is that nice little small one that we just made? They don't all have to be gargantuan. It can be small. Basically saying, okay, where's the... Okay, if that snow is melting a little bit... And maybe here is where it might create some icicles. Who enters my domain? We have a jack of clubs. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Let's welcome the raiders. Hello, that, little hobbits. Spark my gun. Let's welcome the raiders. We're also going to zoom this out just a touch here. Thank you, Talon, for the follow. It is appreciated. Thank you so much. Welcome in, everybody. Hello, little hobbits. Spark my ganja. Let's see. Oh, and uh, a Jack of Clubs, thank you so much. That's, uh, that's a lot of raiders. So, folks. Hello, little hobbits. Spark my ganja. The Alienator. I'm going to say that's how that's pronounced. If I pronounce any of your names wrong, you can just let me know. And I will stand corrected with no shame, or will there be shame? I don't know. But what we do have here is we are kind of finalizing some of the winter effects. Oh, Pixel Hobo and Brush Licker, how are you doing there? I didn't see you in here before, Brush Licker. Now, what we have been replicating here, this is a T3485. And we, over the course of today, this is that we're 5 hours, 40 minutes in. First, we did some weathering with some green stuff world pigments, like this on this T28. And now we got the SU85. We did muddy snow. We've tried crushed glass. We've tried Valhalla and Blizzard. And now what we're doing is we're adding some icicles. So you can see right back here. Okay. Let's go more icicles onto the sides here, because why not? And I'll I'll show you guys some of the other. Where this is you're catching. Uh, I don't want to say the tail end of, but this is the second day of the virtual historicon, and this is where Jim finally gets to paint some of his historical miniatures, and we'll review those in just a second here. Um, yeah, that's, uh, now, these are from a game that's called Bolt Action, and I'll show you some of the other things that we have done. So this was the very first army that I painted entirely in oils. So there's my Winter Russians. These were the very first figures around about three years, ten months ago, Winter Americans, where I first tried oil paints. 
This is the most recent army here. There's my full Schmiegers. And there's three vehicles painted in three different mediums. Acrylics, one in oils, and one actually in weathering powders. Crusader on the left in oils. The Panzer or Jagdpanzer on the right done in weathering powders. Winter Germans in acrylics. And for folks that uh, like to watch battle reports on YouTube, I have four of those for bolt action. That's Blooded Arras. And there is the Bridge to Nouvion. There's my early war French. And here is a nice little overall view of the Monte Cassino army. Now there's other things that I've done historical-wise too. There's my barbershop navy, the Regia Marina. But these techniques that we're doing with the weathering, it's not just about historical figures because uh, they apply here too. The, the crazy Mad Max school bus, the eight pounds of solid resin. Speaking of more solid resin here, we've got some creature casters. This painted in oils, this painted in oils. Is that, oh, more oils. So just a quick little review for folks that maybe haven't seen stuff before. Each of these miniatures right here represents a two-hour tutorial. So there's over 10 hours of tutorials there. Oh, I'm counting 12 hours of tutorials there. There's another 10. This is actually up on my YouTube channel, painting this lovely little family of owl bears from Dark Sword. This is one of my more recent oil painting tutorials. Uh, let's see. Beat hip, uh, hepro. Tried to pronounce, but you still pronounce it wrong. So here's the beat the beat the Promethean. Okay. Ah, uh, it's it's that second H that's capitalized right there. If that wasn't capitalized, then I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't be drawn to that. Oh, Sarcarius. Uh, and here my BA Winter Germans are just collecting dust. Well, head over to the blog. There are lots of tutorials. So how is it? It is Beat the Promethean. Beat the Promethean. You'll have to probably remind me of that one or two times. Uh, now, this, speaking of weathering, I would have loved to have done this in oils. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, we'll show you some other stuff as we move along here. But uh, Beat the Promethean. That's how it is. Beat the Promethean. Okay, I'll try and remember. I promise. I'll try and remember. But right now, we are just adding some icicles here. And the idea is you just kind of, look at this, we'll, we don't really want to necessarily have those hanging from the treads or the tracks. But we kind of like the idea of that icicle there. We kind of like the idea of a little icicle right there. Now you say, okay, yeah, great. What if I want this for fantasy? This whole this mud and ice and everything else. Here we go. So, Song of Ice and Fire. What have we here? We have mud, we have snow, and we have icicles. We've got ourselves more. Same, this is a crushed glass method here. Snow, look at our icicles. A little bit of war cry action. It'll work for sci-fi. It works for anything. This just happens to be historical. Oh, look. Here's another uh, another of our Song of Ice and Fire. Again, a little bit of snow on there. So, beat the Promethean. I'll try and remember that. I promise. Like I said, I'll try and remember that. Oh, that's a, a wonder. I didn't recognize that brush. I haven't actually used this. Oh, look at this. See all those smaller ones? See how they're starting to turn transparent already? What about these back here? So these, I can almost start working a little bit more on those. However, I'm going to add some small icicles here, like really small icicles. Got to get it attached, and then you draw it down like that. Get it attached first, draw it down. Now, if you have some, some water like this, you can thin this down. Here, I'll thin it down even more, even more. And we're just basically going to we'll do these icicles the way icicles happen in nature. We're going to add some water drops. And you literally just add water drops to your icicles.
See, look at we can add some water drops to our ice, and they will also start to dry clear. But see now there's like a water drop on the end of that icicle there. I'm just going to get caught up on the chat here. Uh, I think that's just that is conversation, so we'll just uh, let the conversation converse. However, I'm going to use this now as a water effect because hello icicles down here icicles we need some water effect here if we're gonna have icicles there and all of that is gonna dry super clear but it's gonna have a little gloss to it it will have just a hint of gloss just think in areas where would that snow melt where would it melt why would it melt now, and I just put my pirates somewhere else. Here we go. Let's get our pirates back out here. I know there's one more I'm missing. Yeah. Okay. So that same material. Well, guess what? It also works for water effects. In case you guys haven't seen this yet, you can really see them here. See that nice little splash? But we actually added some blue here. You can really see it. See it on this end? So we tinted that with a little bit of blue. That was actually a Keelian green. Oh, what the heck was that? Uh, contrast paint. And then we had a little bit of the Valhalla Blizzard in there, and it actually, see, it's still glossy, still transparent, but it had a little bit of that white foam to it. So, yeah, that was uh, that was very fun. I'm going to put these guys over here. That's uh, some of the 3D printed miniatures. Oh, and by the way, yeah, these are on the YouTube channel as well. Just James Wapple, YouTube check it out there's I believe now a hundred and twenty two public tutorials and then there's probably about seven thousand private tutorials for the patreon page also on the YouTube channel and we'll, we'll go through some of the some of the other army stuff we'll do that a little later I just want to make sure that I've got some icicles out here doing some stuff ah, look at this Look at this. I'm just get some of this over here. Draw this icicle down. We're, we're, there's already some moisture right there, so there's a reason for there to be an icicle here. And then we just extend that down. See, look at how we can manipulate that icicle. It's it does not have to be hard. It really doesn't. You know what? One icicle of gigantic proportions, not so interesting. Two icicles of different proportions, more interesting. More icicles, more interesting. And we can still, you're like, oh, look at this. This one's actually drying enough that we could. Hello, little hobbits. Spark my ganja. <laughs> We can add to it some more as we welcome in DMAC. Thank you so much for the follow. That is appreciated. Obviously, Gandalf appreciates it too. Look at this. Like some little micro icicles there. See that? On the underside of the barrel support. Yeah, look at that. Those could be water drops too. I mean, you know, if, let's say that this is being rained on or whatever. So we're adding just some more, a little more water effects to that, basically. Maybe, for whatever reason, let's say there's an icicle hanging here. It's, it, it, uh, I don't know. It takes a little bit of jiggering sometimes to get these things to stick there. It's one of those, it's just like applying the snow uh, the crushed glass and such it's an acquired skill in a way now I'm gonna actually speaking of icicles here oh wait a minute wait a second where's an anti-tank rifle sitting around here somewhere yes there is so tempted to put an icicle on the end of that anti-tank rifle I don't know why I just uh, I have an evil I have an evil mind Something says put an icicle on the end of that. So I will. 
So first thing we got to do is we got to get something to attach that icicle to. And now we need just a bit. Look at that. Okay. It, it's not going to be a colossal icicle. It's just a little one. See that right there on the end of his, right there on the end of the anti-tank rifle. Shazam. There we go. Now, as we let that, well, I don't want that drying on the brush. But as we, let's look through some of the, this is some of the other stuff that I like to do. Again, for folks that are maybe new here that haven't seen a lot of the other stuff. So you just saw some of the Dark Sword stuff. This, everybody's talking about Indomitus, right? So coming to this channel and to the Patreon page is going to be Boku amounts of TMM. That is what that is. Because that's not metallic paint. That is regular paint even fluorescent paint mixed with metal medium. Okay, and I'm going to show you what we are talking about. So this was an eBay rescue, and by eBay rescue, I mean, see these sanding marks there? That was me trying to scrape off the old paint and glue. But what are we talking about as we move this out of harm's way? So metal medium here, you can mix it with regular paints, heck, you could even mix it with some of your contrast paints if you wanted to. And it, look at all the nifty color. That's not color shift paints. That is just regular paint mixed with this. Oh, yes. And that is also fluorescent paint mixed with the metal medium. And that's how we were able to get object source lighting and metallic paints all at the same time. Now, I also like to do some oil painting. Now, this is another very recent tutorial on the YouTube channel. So this was all painted in oils entirely, including the freehand, the tattoos, all that stuff, all on the YouTube channel. It started out as a Twitch session, and that's what happens to my older Twitch sessions because uh, not being was that partner. Heck, even when you're partner, they still go away, right? Now... A little background. So this is once upon a time I used to do 2D art. You can see there's a little bit of airbrush there. You can see this is a watercolor on a hot press watercolor board. So is this. Now we start to wander into some pastels. So now you know why I like the oil painting. There's a little bit of a background into me here. So you're, you're looking at uh, a while ago. And that is a, no airbrush there. That's just hairy sticks. And, of course, we we like dragons and big birds and big snakes and more snakes. So we're going to wander into some of my armies over here. And we're just going to get started here with the so basing. To me, basing is everything. And every one of my series starts with basing, which you can see even Harad here. Look at the bases. Look at that sand dune effect there on the calve. All of these part of multi five part series. This most recent one, or very recent one, near and dear to my heart because look at all that freehand. I love me some freehand, and you should too. Here you got a combination of object source lighting and actually that's fluorescent paint and rust. Now we've got oils, and yes, I also, in addition to my unhealthy obsession with freehand and object source lighting, I love my non-metallic metals. Oh look, there's your object source lighting. There's some freehand. I can, I'll show you more pictures later, but I just want to see, yeah, see, see that's starting to already turn a little bit translucent right there? I'll get that. Let's add, uh, add some more here. Let's add a little bit more. And this, now I'm really thinning this down. I mean, like, a lot. Because I want this to melt here a bit. And then start running down. All the way down here. And the idea is, once we reach the end of the road here, oh, look at what's happening. There's going to be another one of these. Does it have to be a huge icicle, some colossal thing? No, just a little one. Or maybe it is going to be a bigger one. I don't know. Kind of depends what happens. 
Now, if that's the one thing when you water it down, you're not going to quite get the same kind of structure as when it is dry. There we go. It's another nice little icicle forest right there. Oops, sorry, there you go. Now you can see it. Let's build off of our ones that are already here. See if we can make those longer. Can even add some more. Again, we got a snow pile here. Let's uh, say for some reason the snow is melting and that's what's creating our icicles there. We can even maybe throw some more icicles back here. Smaller ones. We got the bigger ones already. Let's get some smaller ones back here. Like the small ones. And yes, I like to use my thumb as a staging area for pretty much everything. Especially oil paint. Yep, see, too much, take it away. A nice little small icicle over there. A whole bunch of small icicles. Yeah. And you can see the end of that is already starting to turn transparent. Oh, it's, I can't seem to find your tutorial for the Winter Germans. There is no tutorial for the Winter Germans. There's only the Winter Russians. That's the only one that I did as a video series as far as bolt action goes. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Because when I did the Winter Germans, I did not have, I didn't even have a webcam at the time. So yeah, my original painting pyramid tutorials that were done in 2013, those were actually done with just a regular kind of VHS, well not VHS, but a regular kind of camcorder sort of thing. And that I didn't have any webcam or anything like that back in those days. But then when we were able to snag stuff like the webcam, that's when I started making the tutorials again. There will be plenty more bolt action tutorials coming. Uh, the next thing that I'll probably be doing bolt action wise as far as an army painting tutorial would be Africa Core. Because I have a fresh box of those. I will be doing other Twitch sessions and some one off things. Like I, I'll do a one off on P. Dot Camo. I'm just going to get some. Just some icy water effects right here. So there will be plenty more. Uh, let's see, fair enough. They look great, though, if you decide to do a new series for the winter. Yep, that's... Uh, well, I do have... Well, I have winter Germans and winter Hungarians because my winter Russians, they're doing double purpose. They're part of the army is for Stalingrad. And the other part of the army is for the Siege of Budapest. So I need both. Yeah, yeah I'm just going to let some ice get there. Why not? Let's have some ice. Why? Ah, not quite sure. But here, let's uh, make this a little more watery here. Let's do the same over here, too. So look at, remember the layer cake of weathering? We had our we had the paint, then we had our our weathering effects with the the rust and the dust and everything. We gave it texture with the actual dirt. Then we put our winter wash on. Then we put our snow on. Now we're adding icicles. And we're just building these up a little bit at a time. And hopefully I haven't missed anything in the chat. I apologize if I have. You can always... I guess I think uh, someone in one of the more recent ones, they tried three or four times to get me to see their story, but it would get pushed out of my vision or something like that. It can happen, and I apologize. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can get me some couple of more small... Icicles here. Just going to. There we go. Not much more than this. A 
like about there. So see, we got a third one, but it's a little bit smaller now. Maybe even a hint of melted snow up here, just because. It doesn't have to be a lot of it, but some. Gives us a reason to have all these streaks, right? Like that. So can you see a little bit of sheen to that streak right there? Now just imagine, okay, this is a Imperial Guard vehicle. Heck, you could do this to a Wave Serpent. You could do it to a Dreadnought. You could do it to whatever. You know what? Ah, let me, I'm going to see if I can maybe even get a little tiny icicle hanging off of this thing. It'll be a challenge. It will be a challenge. Oh, look at this. So I got a little stringy thing right here. If I can pull this thing. That would be a little too much of an icicle. There we go. Little teeny bit of an icicle. Just hang. And when that dries, it's going to be nice and clear, nice and see-through. Uh, do I have any of this active? <laughs> There's our, all of our Valhalla and Blizzard, all that kind of stuff. Now that's all totally dry and solid over there. And it's going to get minor, little small icicles here. That's starting to, that'll be nice and frozen once all that stuff dries. Be nice and frozen. We're also going to chuck a few more icicles over here too. Something tells me could be fun to have just some nice small little icicles over here. I just, it's one more layer of texture because we got the grass in here. You can still see some of that grass. Look at that icicle. That one's gone totally transparent. You can't hardly even see the darn thing. Oh, we got Mtele's. How are you doing? I am just having a good old time here. Look at this. A good old time adding my icicles to this. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is maybe doing a little bit of the, the winter whitewash on, on this thing here, potentially. Kind of like what we did here. Again, that is a captured finish vehicle. For our 1939 Winter War campaign, that at some point might continue again. Now, actually, the other handy thing is the more this stuff kind of dries in your palette here, sometimes the stickier it gets and the more of these little icicles you can make. Because, welcome to Christmas in July. I mean, does this. I mean, hopefully this makes people feel a little bit colder just by looking at this thing. Do we have, uh, where's, uh, oh, uh, Landra's still in the house, checking things out. You know what? I don't necessarily want these to be icicles, but I actually want a little bit of, like, a transparent water effect here. On the outside of the snow here. Yeah. I'm curious to see what that's going to dry like. We'll find out now. Oh, okay. Okay, we want... If we're going to have this stuff that's kind of washed down, we should probably have some reason for that. So, see, we got the... Now, there's a little bit of water effect right there. Who knows, maybe somebody was, uh, I don't know, had a little fire up on top of the rig. Maybe they are trying to, I don't know, maybe they had something warm up there. But now we've got some, again, thing of condensation. Sometimes that happens on, on a fuel tank. You see how that's starting to turn a little more transparent right there. And I will try to add just a, a couple of icicles right here. And why am I thinking right here? Just because all this junk here, a lot of snow would pile up there, which it did. 
and if it melts at all it would give us some icicles okay we don't need a gigantic glacier hanging off of this thing we don't want an iceberg we just want an icicle and now we got just enough making some icicles oh look another icicle over here Just let that hang down. And again, as it dries, it becomes more and more translucent. See, that one's starting to get a little more translucent. That one you can't hardly even see because it's already clear. This one's starting to get clear again which means we can take a little bit of our water and we can build off of it again like you do look at that and you, you see how that leaves like a little bit of a blob of what well it's gonna look like a blob of water at the end that is how icicles form they're not these little spears it, it's it's water dripping in the same place over and over again and freezing that's what an icicle is all about so that is why we're taking this water here getting that nice and wet and making that little ball of water there now you can see it at the end uh, those we're gonna leave alone it's it's timing everything is uh, I know I keep mentioning that over and over again everything is timing Ah, those have dried now and they are nice and clear. Wow. I love those. I'm going to add another layer here to essentially that melted snow look here. Because again, heat source, all of this heat source. Lots and lots of heat source. We should have snow or just kind of that icy water just cascading down here. And that's what's leading to all of our icicles. So, now the other thing that I'm tempted to do is add a little bit of mud here. Now, what's this? Why is this mud specifically right here? Look at where that hatch is. Mud, 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 hatch. We still have some weathering powders. And actually, I'm going to put it. No, not on this side. We're going to put it on this side. So we're going to try and get some mud here, some mud up here. Again, we got the uh, the water effect stuff, so I'm not going to use this brush. I'm not going to use this one here. And, and by the way, you will want to take something like either, well, rubbing alcohol or something like this to clean out things like the weathering powders and the your uh, gel right there. Yeah, that's... We want something more like that to clean that out. And we're going to grab ourselves a, could be a, sp a spatter brush like this, whatever. I think we've got some weathering powders left. I'm just going to get this out of the way. Heck, I'm just going to mix some of the weathering powders with our gloss gel here. And that'll be a little bit of a, a melty snow. Melted snow kind of a look there. And which, oh, well, this side here, we're thinking right over here. Give that a little bit of a muddy footprint. Maybe a little mud up here too. Like they've actually walked up on top of the vehicle there. It's not much. It's not much. It's just a little, little. Actually, yeah. Here, let's uh, let's say maybe they've walked around back here to try and get at this hatch. Little extra flavor there instead of just all snow. Maybe even a little touch of lighter snow mud snow mud 
it doesn't always have to be spattered on. If I brush it on, I can sometimes get even a little bit thicker texture here. Oh, let's see, get it? Well, unfortunately, Sky King, once the weather got way too freaking hot, the, the cookies just kind of went away. But she did, she did the next best thing. She made pancakes with chocolate chips. There are pictures. There are pictures. So Kathy went all Chef Kathy and, and went, uh, did all kinds of fun things with the Panacokins. There, look at a little bit of, a little more of our mud effects there. But that's going to have a little bit of semi gloss to it there. Uh, let's see, Landreth. Oh, I, I see they pop, they pop out of the hatch. We get a little bit more of our mud here, maybe. Right along here, maybe. Just uh, for whatever reason, they, they're stepping on the snow, making it muddy. Last little bit here. Okay. And really, yep, we can just let this, uh, we can just enjoy the process of letting those get nice and clear. What we'll do is we'll set this one to the side and